NS is working on an innovative automatic passenger counting project that will dramatically improve the knowledge of the occupancy of its trains. Currently, NS only obtains occupancy information via manual counting on board the trains and ticket sales. Therefore, in the area of travel information, there's still a lot to be gained. Met het reizigersstelsysteem willen we onze reiziger beter van dienst zijn tijdens het instappen. Met de informatie over de trein, zoals waar is de stiltecoupé en waar is de eerste klas, gecombineerd met de actuele bezetting per coupé, kan onze treinreiziger zelf bepalen waar hij wil instappen. Internationally, there's already some experience with counting systems, such as the distinguished counting system of the Swiss train company SBB which, with typical Swiss precision, has been measuring the occupancy of its trains in the different cantons of Switzerland for years. The APC design is based on the same measuring principles as SBB's, thus ensuring a high-quality system. Like SBB, NS collects precise counting data, but this project is unique in that the occupancy information is detailed at compartment level and is communicated real-time. Several options for APC have been considered, such as measuring the weight of the train, Wi-Fi usage, electronic check-in data, or monitoring seats. However, occupancy figures remain an estimate with these options. Therefore, NS eventually chose for sensors in the trains that determine exactly the number of passengers that pass by the sensors. This technology separates passengers on the balconies and in each compartment of the train. Before the complete rollout of the test, cameras were installed in the proto-train to check the accuracy of the sensors. The APC test took place on the Eisel line from Rosendahl to Zwolle, where 11 trains were equipped with over 270 counting sensors. The test involved two user groups, a group of NS employees and a group of 800 passengers that both had access to a specially designed NS app. Boarding and alighting passengers are counted after which the occupancy of the train is calculated at compartment level. These real-time passenger numbers are then wirelessly communicated via the OBIS system of the train to the ground side and collected in a database. Alongside other information, it forms a virtual representation of the train. The real-time passenger numbers combined with travel information, such as the special entrances for wheelchairs and bicycles, subsequently feed the smartphone application, where the occupancy data is graphically displayed in the user's personal travel advice. During the test, ProRail and NS implemented a second application at Den Bosch station, where occupancy information was coupled to an LED display on the platform. Through various colors, the display indicates what the occupancy of the next train is. The feedback passengers gave about the app during the test is encouraging. Additionally, the effectiveness of the LED display was clearly shown by the movements of people on the platform. We zijn heel tevreden over de proef met het reisgestelsysteem. We zien dat onze klanten het enorm waarderen dat ze kunnen zien waar er plek is in de trein en daarmee draagt dat bij aan een veel comfortabelere treinreis. En daarnaast kunnen we de uitkomsten van de tellingen ook heel goed gebruiken voor andere toepassingen binnen ons bedrijf en daarmee draagt het bij aan innovatie binnen NS. The smartphone app and the LED display are only two applications of the new occupancy information. When one takes into account the internal possibilities of the information in matters such as the planning of the timetable and disruption management, 
The award at APC Design offers NS many chances to increase customer service. As a result, by an increased focus on the occupancy of its trains, NS develops a broader vision on the future of rail.